All right, so here we have a Samsung Galaxy S21 and a Foundation Devices Passport. Passport is a completely air-gapped hardware wallet, meaning that it communicates with any smartphone or computer via camera and QR codes or via a micro SD port on the top of the device. So in this video, I'm gonna walk through first uh, pairing Passport with the Galaxy phone and then we're going to actually do a Bitcoin transaction. So first I'm just gonna grab and unlock the phone. And I'm gonna open Blue Wallet. Cool, so here we have Blue Wallet. And currently there's no wallet set up, and so we're gonna go ahead and we're going to link Passport with Blue Wallet so that we can get a wallet set up on the Samsung phone. So I'm gonna grab Passport, we're gonna turn it on. Usually, by the way, this uh, LED will be blue uh, as part of the provisioning process at production. So I'm gonna enter my PIN, in this case it's just one, two, three, four, five, six. And you're gonna see that Passport allows me to create a new account. So basically, anytime you wanna connect Passport with any kind of software wallet on your computer or your phone, you're going to be able to create a new account. Right now we have Blue Wallet and Sparrow, but when we ship, we'll have a wide array of options uh, that pretty much covers all of the most popular Bitcoin wallets uh, that support either micro SD or QR codes, partially signed Bitcoin transactions, PSBTs, on uh, mobile or desktop. So I'm gonna click Blue Wallet and we're gonna say we want a standard wallet, not a multi-sig. And we're gonna connect them via QR code. Some instructions here. And now you're gonna see that Passport is displaying a series of QR codes. So I can go basically uh, add a new wallet and I could just scan that right away. And now we're already importing the wallet in Blue Wallet. So we've successfully imported the wallet into Blue Wallet. So Blue Wallet has this set up as what's called a watch only wallet, meaning that we can't actually spend from Blue Wallet. Blue Wallet does not store the private key. It stores only the public key. What's great is that you can use your phone as you normally would to view transactions on the bigger screen. You can uh, set up a transaction to send. You can create a new receive address to receive some Bitcoin. But it's really nice that if anyone gets your phone, they cannot actually spend the Bitcoin. And Blue Wallet's pretty cool because it also allows you to set up multi-sig configurations. So now on Passport, I'm gonna click Done. And it wants me to verify that the account was successfully created. We're gonna do that by actually creating a new receive address on Blue Wallet. And Passport's gonna scan that and verify that the receive address belongs to it. All right, address is verified. We can now name the account. Uh, it sets it as Blue Wallet by default. You can go back and change the name if you want. I'm just gonna click save. And we have a new account created. So now we're gonna send a transaction. So I'm gonna grab Blue Wallet, click on the wallet, and I'm gonna click send. So it's asking me if I wanna use it for offline signing. I do because I have it connected with a hardware wallet. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set up a transaction. Let me just send maybe, you know, uh, $3 worth of Bitcoin. I'm gonna go ahead and scan an address over here. Perfect. And we're gonna do the lowest possible fee. Oh, it looks like there's a little bug here. Perfect. So now Blue Wallet is showing me QR codes that represent an unsigned transaction. So I'm going to go on to Passport, which is Blue Wallet. I'm going to scan QR codes. We scanned all four of them. 
And now I can verify that the destination address is correct. The amount I'm sending is correct. The change amount is correct. The network fee is correct. It's, it's warning me that it's uh, about 8.3% of the transaction size, uh, which, you know, is okay. We're only sending a few dollars worth of Bitcoin and fees are still pretty high. I'm gonna, now I'm gonna click sign. All right, so we've signed the transaction and Passport is displaying the signed transaction via multiple QR codes. Click scan signed transaction on Blue Wallet. All right. We just sent the transaction. I can click done on Passport and we can go ahead and just shut Passport down. And as you can see here, if I refresh this, we have a new pending transaction. So it's really that simple. Uh, you can do transactions within a couple you know, seconds, really, if you know what you're doing once you've got everything set up. You know, it's as easy as booting up a passport. It's as easy as creating a send in Blue Wallet, scanning your receiver address, entering your number of sats in, choosing your network fee, entering your PIN onto Passport, choosing your account, scanning the multiple QR codes, confirming everything looks good. And then scanning those QR codes again onto Blue Wallet. So that is a quick look at Passport. Really nicely designed, really fast and responsive keypad. We actually use AAA batteries for power for the nice magnetic closure. And we're gonna be shipping this in just a few weeks. Thanks for watching.